Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dying Light. This is episode 9. In the last video we were working for Rais again. He promised us two crates of Antizin and only delivered five vials. So as you can imagine the main character was pretty annoyed about that and today we are going to return to the tower to give these vials out to the people who need it. Oh, it looks like first of all we're going to have to contact the DRE. So I'm just doing that now. I'm just going to jump on top of here and here we go. Pain here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... Wow. What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. She has a bad attitude. Okay, now we can supply the survivors in the tower. So let's do that now. Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. Interesting. Um, we just received another quest, guessed up, um, randomly, as I was walking. But we'll do that another time. I'm going to carry on and go to the tower. Hopefully I don't get mauled by zombies. It's night time and the zombies have seen me, so I'm just legging it. <laughs> We're almost there. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much Anderson did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that Anderson. We've actually got quite a lot of quests on the uh, map at the moment, so I'm just gonna go around and pick a few of them up. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Let's, um, oh, there's some on the notice board. Let's get these ones. Incense herbs. Find lavender herbs to make incense. Good God, the stench. We live in a city whose primary occupants are rotting meat. You can't adapt to it, and you'll never stop noticing it. Well, some of us are doing something about it. We're making incense. Okay, so we need lavender to make incense for these guys. 
because they can't handle the smell of rotten meat. I didn't blame them. Spare glasses. Travel to Kalik's apartment and bring the items he needs. Okay, going all that way just for some glasses. Oh look, it's this guy again, Alfie. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs. Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Oh, yeah. joy. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it, but it's a damn shame. Hey, it sounds fun. I mean, come on, I have a torchlight. That'll be enough. <laughs> hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. Okie dokie, sounds good. We need to get him um, some glasses and a book on gardening for dum-dums. <laughs> God, the things they asked me to do. Ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to ride the elevator up and I think it's up here. We're going to supply the survivors with this antizin now. Do you have the antizin? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including, <laughs> including a couple of kids. You better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Looks like they are in a tricky situation up here. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Okay, let's talk to Brecken. Oh, look, he's watching TV. Anything good on? Oh, what a lovely picture. This is where we get the announcements about the antacin drops. And they've just stopped. Oh, my God. That TV. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen... I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. 
A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Stuff is getting serious on this game now. People are getting desperate. Look for a private spot to contact the GRE. Oh, I hate contacting the GRE. Okay. Finally, I get to do some actual good. We're on the roof. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout from the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus, Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Get away from that edge, please. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, God. See? What did I tell you? Stupid kid. <laughs> See, told you we make a good team. Bless him. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not. Helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Okay, um, contact the GRE now, um, up here, I guess. Up we go. Lots of cutscenes in this one. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. Is this woman for real? You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Like, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. I bet that file has some nasty information on it. Stuff that they would not want to get out. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay, and listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Good God. I was hoping that he wasn't even going to consider um, Rias's proposal. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. Shoot, shoot stars. Didn't even get to oh.